Hello and welcome to Makeshift Minis. Over the last year and a half or so, I've been casting quite a few minis, so today I'm going to be working on my backlog. I start by gathering the minis and some spare parts. Using spare parts, I assemble and repair minis that were miscast. Sometimes I have to make a few changes before attaching a piece, like trimming the neck so the head will fit. After I finish my repairs, I glue the minis to the bases. My homemade activator helps me get through the dozen or so minis in a reasonable amount of time. After priming all the minis in a matte gray, I base coat the upper body of the zombie horde. The model claims it's red, but it came out a very rich pink. Zombies pants get a base coat of dark blue. I always find blue goes on very nicely. To make a skin tone, I mix pink and a golden brown, which I then dry brush on the zombies. To make the zombies a bit more colorful, I dry brush blue and purple on their guts. I dry brush on lime green onto any flesh areas to give the zombies a more rotten color. I dry brush the zombies upper body in pink. I was trying to make it look like the zombies were all wearing shirts, but the reds all just blended together. I dry brush sky blue onto the zombie's pants, and the faded fabric look I was going for really worked out well. The next batch of minis I work on are the skeletons. I base coat them in a golden brown.
The skeletons really don't have a complicated paint job, as all I do to finish them off is dry brush on an off-white ivory. The armored skeleton is something I've been meaning to paint for a while. I'm going to use the underpainting method, but I'm only going to paint the armor since I like the way the shading looks. After the base coat dries, I dry brush on a medium gray. Dry brushing white on the mini really brings out all the details and scratches I put in the armor. After I'm done with undercoat, I paint the armor a bright silver. I like using the underpainting method for metal because it always turns out so well. I make an orange glaze for the damaged parts of the armor. By thinning down the paint in a 2 to 1 ratio, I keep the paint thin enough that I can still see the metal base coat, but rich enough that it gives it a rusty look. With all the minis done, I begin painting the bases black. Last but not least, I paint the armored skeleton's base black. After the paint dries in a matte clear coat, it's onto the glamour shots. I really like how the skeletons came out. I have my complaints about the zombies, but for the most part I'm satisfied. In total, I painted a dozen minis, which isn't even a third of my pile of shame. Still, I made a progress and I'm happy with that. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Take care, be well, and until next time.